keep it secrets to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me then. Yo, what's good, you too? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Now listen up, before we get any further in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you stop right now, all right? Click that like button, all right? Click the like button for your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. And of course, man, click it for the Rare Bear movement that we got going on, man. Well, we start in 2K20, man. 2K21 is right there on the cusp of coming out. Hopefully, we get a prelude really soon. But until then, or not even a prelude, like, this is get some more information out. That would be dope, right? But until then, Uncle Demi's going to be dropping the absolute best series, right? So let's get excited for that. Now, also, let's get this video to at least 1,500 likes. We all know 1,500 likes will push the video to the recommended, which is extremely important. Right, we want this video to be out there so it can continue to circulate in YouTube for as long as possible. Right, so liking the video up, we'll obviously put that there in that position. Um, right now we're sitting at 67,049 nephews and nieces. Obviously, we're pushing very close to 70k. Um, I know we're trying to go 75 in July, but at the same token, hey man, it's understandable. The grind is real. I'm reaching high. So hopefully we can settle somewhere or with around 70,000 nephews and nieces for the month of July coming into August, okay? Now let's get into this video, the absolute best interior finisher. Now, when you again, like I say, when you do absolute best, it's not going to be there's many ways you can make the interior finisher. When I go absolute best, I'm going with what 95% of the community would do with an interior finisher, all right? So for me, when I think of interior finisher, I think of somebody that can finish at the basket ridiculous, right? Someone that can work, you know, down low as a post scorer and, of course, have the ability to shoot. Okay, so within, and, and the thing is this, I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to be very rare for me to call a build an absolute best build and it's not shooting. Because in this day and age, right, not only in real life, but also in this game, if you cannot shoot your major liability, even for a paint beast, that's, your job is to set screens. If you cannot shoot, you are a liability. And of course, you know, people can get away with it, but then it just puts a lot of responsibility onto your guard. So even with this interior finisher, we're going to go crazy with it, right? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to go with the pure blue pie chart. Now, you could theoretically go with this pie chart here, but then you have to lower down a lot of stuff, and I don't want to do that, right? I want to just go ahead and be able to max stuff out and be able to get the best potential for my interior finisher. So that's why I'm going with the pure blue, all right? And then of course here, you wanna go with the, the, the uh, well-rounded pie chart because not only do you wanna have the strength, but you need you also wanna have the speed, the acceleration, and the vert. And there are gonna be some really, really good, I mean, and it finishes right at a really good point here. So I think that this is good because when the bill is all said and done, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's actually pretty good attributes. Now what we wanna do is this, we wanna max out the first three and then we actually want to drop down to 85 for your driving layup to keep it right at 27 we're not going to focus on the post hook even though you could if you wanted to but i didn't want to focus on the post hook i wanted to focus on my shooting so that's why you're going to have 10 shooting badges to start off with which is ridiculous right and i think free throw there you go you want to drop your free throw by one right then what you want to do is of course you want to max out your post moves and then you want to go 50 right and that's gonna give you exactly six okay then you want to max out your interior defense your defensive rebound your offensive rebound and your blocks okay and then you have one left over you can guess you can just throw that here on your pass accuracy i guess if you wanted to so you can go 50 on the pass accuracy right but this is the thing 27 10 6 and 8 so when you're working when you're dealing with the build that's basically like a post score right that you can obviously do on the 1v1 the 2v2 and of course 3v3 um, I really believe that this build can obviously, if you're repping up, which I did, I made a lob threat, which was pure blue, and my lob threat was pretty much similar to this. I just caught a lot of lobs trying to get rep, and then of course I was able to shoot really well. I had 12 shooting badges with him, and the thing is, is this, is that even though you only have eight defensive badges, 
okay? What really makes his build shine is the offensive potential. And that's what makes his build so nasty because you're gonna be so, so much quicker. You're gonna be extremely strong, but you're gonna be able to get so many crazy contact dunks with this build, okay? So that's what really stands his build apart from anything else, right? Now, what we wanna do here is with our body type, you can actually pick any type you want. So in this case, I'm just gonna go define, right? You wanna stay 6'9", you wanna stay at 232, okay? You do not want to, and the reason why you wanna go 232, you just wanna maintain your acceleration and your quickness, okay? Then with your wingspan, you actually wanna max that all the way out, right? So now let's look at some things. You will have a 97 strength, right? Let that resonate. An 81 speed, 82 vert, and a 76 acceleration at a power four spot, which is ridiculous, all right? And then when you look at your shooting, because that's a big one, a 67 mid-range shot, you have a 53 three-point shot, which you can knock down easy in the corner. You have a 94 post move. You have a 96 driving dunk, all right? Your um, offensive rebound will be an 80. You have an 81 defensive rebound and you have an 84 block, and you have a 79 interior defense. So again, what really sets this build apart it, the pot, <laughs> is the offensive potential of how dominant it could be. Now, obviously you could max out more on a defense and, and be able to get um, some more badges, but you're killing yourself in, in, in other categories that you really need. So of course you waste a lot of attributes on shooting, but let's be honest, shooting is just that important. You need the shooting. So that's why we had to go ahead and get those 10 shooting badges because it's gonna help you out. And you're gonna see that when we go over these badges, right? Now, when it comes to the takeover, this is where you really have to be, I guess it's played based upon preference. Um, the post scoring is all good and dandy. Slashing is really, really good. But you know what I've said before in every video, if you're making the absolute best build, you have and slashing is an option you got to take it because it gives you a plus 10 to not only your, your finishing interiorly but it gives you a plus 10 on your speed your strength and your vert you just can't beat that right so of course if you talk about that that means you have a 91 speed you have a 92 vert and then you have a nine you jesus christ you have a, a 107 strength okay you have 106 driving dunk i mean like the numbers get crazy when you do that all right so that's the reason why I will go with slash and takeover, right? And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. You have the interior finisher. Of course, you have some of the great interior finishers here with Amari Steinmeier and Blake Griffin. And then you have one of the up and coming great interior finishers in John Collins, who not only can play in the mid range and shoot threes, but can finish above the rim. So he is, again, Blake Griffin's the same way. Blake Griffin is definitely. I guess you can say he is the, the best example right now of the interior finisher. He can obviously, this year, he has been able to shoot the three at a very high rate. And he's any type of power forward that can jump above the rim, that can also stretch the floor now, makes him extremely dangerous. And that's why I was trying to make my interior finisher able to be able to shoot, okay? So now let's go ahead and get him the 99. Let's talk about some badges. And of course, you know, we're gonna get y'all out of here, okay? So let's get him the 99 real quick. And here we have a lot of badges to work with. Contact finisher, you do wanna, oh, not, not Giant Slayer. Really, because Giant Slayer, you're already 6'9", you don't need that, right? We're gonna go, boom, pro, um, fancy footwork, consistent finisher, acrobat, slithery finisher, all right? Then you have, okay, now of course, now you can get these badges here to Hall of Fame if you want to, or you can do back down punisher, and drop step, all right? Because if this is basically, if you're gonna be working as down low as a center, these are really good to have. Now, you do not have post hooks, right? But you don't really need it because if you just, if you take these off and put deep post hooks and pro touch on, you're gonna still be able to green. It's just that cheesy. But to me, this is a face up build. One that you wanna face up, blow by somebody, get contact dunks, or if you run the basket, just drop step them, get to cut the standing dunk or just stand out there and hit mid-range this build is really toxic if you really think about it and if you're a legend it gets even crazier um here with these badges this is what i would say you want to go with um, hot zone hunter you definitely want to get your quick draw on silver you also want to get your range extender these two are very important they're going to really help you out uh, along with your quick draw and then i will go with catch and shoot because what happens is when you get those opportunities when they dump when they pass you the ball 
you definitely be able to get that little boost from the catch and shoot along with your hot zone hard and range extender it's going to allow you to shoot at a very high rate once you hit legend or if you're close to hit legend or you are a legend dope thing is you can go ahead and get deep fades corner specialist volume shooter tireless shooter you can actually have green machine you can get so much more potential out of this build by doing that all right and then here i have a couple things that you have to you can work with one you definitely want to go quick first step and then if you want to go post man technician i think those would be the two best ones that to work with right now um of course if you're legend i'll go with dream shake get a little bell out and unpluckable but for the most part these two are going to be very very important to start off with and if you're not someone that likes to do a lot of spin then you can probably go ahead and go with bell out or you can go with something like this it's really up to you about how you want to play with this individual because you do have the versatility to not only face up and be become more of a slasher but you can also turn your back to the basket and be a post scorer so you got to figure out what your play style is and what, uh, what I guess what strength suits you and also your running mate, whoever you're running with and what they need, all right? Um, and then defensively, this is where things you have to be very creative with, right? So this is what I would do. I would go rim protector, you need chase down artists. You need these two. You definitely want to get intimidator on go, all right? Because that's the max style that you can go with. Then you want to go, oops, with pogo stick. I know, um, I'm sorry. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this, let's do rebound chaser silver. Pogo stick silver, intimidate silver. But you need rim protector and you need chase down artists. You need those animations. And then here you go. This is again what I go back to. Do not get scared of um silver badges, bronze badges, that type of deal. Go ahead and be happy with the bronze and silver. It does help. The silver pogo stick, you get the best bang for your buck. Rebound chaser on silver, the best bang for your buck. Intimidator, obviously, you want to go as high as you can. So you're not going to get as much. But again, this build is not meant to be a defender. This build is meant to be a potent 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 on the offensive end. All right, so keep that in mind. But there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the absolute best interior force build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And again, this is your man, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know, when I say I'll be back soon with another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.